and welcome to a quick tutorial video like a quick guidance video on how to change your game sounds using bank files we often look for the audio in the game files and then all we see are bank files but we don't really know how to open it or we can't really open it so I will just explain you how to do that and how to change it so step one is to download a program called fmod bank tools this program will allow us to crack open uh, these files and we will see what audio files are within the bank files so i will add two links in the description below on where you can find these uh these bank tools these are the two links and they both work just fine i tried both of them and yeah it just works perfectly Right, so after that, you need to just download it and open the zippy file. And then we need to, well, obviously <laughs> continue our free trial <laughs> and not buy the license. Then you can just extract this to wherever you fancy or yeah, you just don't extract it and you keep using the zippy. Both work, you know, just fine. All right, then step two is to open FMOD Bank Tools. This is the screen that you will get. In the Bank Source folder, you get the bank file from your game. So for me, for example, I'm using a game called Scrap Mechanic. We ignore all the other games I've got. Go to the audio file and then within banks is where the bank file is located you press ok and that's it and then your destination folder you simply click wherever you want those uh, files those sound files to be extracted i call it game sound files you click on extract and that is pretty much it after all the files are extracted you get something called master bank and this is where all the actual audio files are located of that game now we want to change some sounds of the game no problem all you're going to need is a simple audio program or if you already have a video program that works fine for example i got vegas pro 17 so that's what i personally use then step three is to actually change the file so i take my video editor and for this to actually work i click on one for example this is just to know how big it is because if you're going to change a file from your folder you need to make sure that whatever you record is not as big as this or is equally big right so we're gonna i don't know be like bleep bloop bleep hello la, 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 la. you know doesn't matter whatsoever but as you can see whatever i said is shorter than this no problem we can even make it longer as long as this right very important you can't go longer because then the recording will randomly stop in your game Another thing is that the file can't be massively big either because if you do and you rebuild your file, your bank file, then it will give an error. Like you will, it will go all, go over all the audio files and then it will randomly stop and it will give you an error. That means, or that could mean that one of the files is simply too big. For example, I had that when I wanted to change an entire, um, song in the game and i changed it and my other song was way too big so it gave me an error and it doesn't work so two limitations it needs to be as big as the original and preferably also uh, smaller in size once you are happy with your sound all you need to do is save it and give it the exact same name as the original very important, of course, give it the exact same name. Once you save it, make sure your audio or your video program can use a wave sound. Because as you can see, FMOD Bank Tools uses a WAV destination folder. So all the files, all of these files are wave sounds. So the new file needs to be a wave sound as well. So then all you need to do is click save, render, you know, whatever you have to do. Then it will appear, why not? will do it no template selected all right let's select the template all good it's gonna be here then you can delete it in your uh, master bank 
put it in there and that's it that's all you have to do every sound you can just change just like that okay so then once you are happy with all the changes you made and all the cool sound effects you created all we need to do is rebuild it so same thing we need a bank source folder and we need a wave a destination folder so this time scroll down a bit the wave destination folder is now going to be inside this master bank so it's just one step further than we already had so the game side folder inside them so there all the waves so this is this file all these wave audio files are in there so that is the wave destination folder the bank source folder then we can choose a little bit right so you we can do the original steam file of your game uh, but if you want to be more safe and not corrupt the original files, make sure you copy your original bank file and put it in the in whatever space you want somewhere safe. Then if we want to actually rebuild, we do need a master bank file because we want to rebuild one. So what we do, for example, I put one in, in the same folder. You just go to the game sound and it's right here. It is in game sound files. So we click that. Simple as that. All you need to do then is click rebuild. It will load up all the sounds and done. This master bank file is going to be the new file with all the cool new sounds. All right. Then all you need to do is use this bank file and change your original bank file of the game. And that's it. That's as easy as it is. Either way, hopefully this little tutorial, this little guidance was useful. Hopefully you will now enjoy your game to the fullest with custom made audio sounds. Honestly, I tried it. It is amazing. It is awesome. It's funny as can be. Either way, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was, it was useful. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see everybody next time. Take care. Even get to oh. bronze.